Hey everyone, welcome back y'all. We are back with our 12 month binder style stuffy. We have our eight Jordan budgets savings challenges and before I get started on this stuffing, I've got a few little notations here to the side I need to speak about. Number one, y'all, make sure that you run over to my video this past Saturday. I went ahead and opened up the next giveaway. That is sponsored by Jordan Budgets. It's my 700 subscriber giveaway, y'all. I'm super excited. I cannot wait to do this giveaway because one lucky person, when I pull the name on Friday in front of all of you, one lucky person is going to get the chance to go over to Jordan Budgets shop and pick out an item of their choice. It doesn't matter which item it is. It could be anything from a savings pack to a sticker pack all the way up to a fully customizable binder, y'all. Those retail for like $35 on her shop. They're extremely, <laughs> the quality is just through the roof, y'all. I know because I buy all my things from Jordan Budgets. <laughs> it's just simple as that. Um, I love Jordan. I'm obsessed with her shop. Her quality is beyond expectations. And she's just fantastic. Do remember that January's coming up, y'all, 2023. And, you know, if you can get yourself a fully customizable binder from Jordan Budgets, yeah, better jump on it because it's amazing. So with that being said, I will be picking the winner on this Friday, this upcoming Friday. And that winner will have that option. So the other thing I need to speak about is Jordan has just also released a new packet. She has released the vacation savings packet, savings challenge packet, and I absolutely adore it. Y'all, I bought myself one. Of course I did. I buy everything from Jordan, <laughs> but also I bought one for a lucky subscriber here as well. So my next giveaway will be that savings challenge packet vacation packet from Jordan Budgets. Now she did say it's a limited time. She only made and custom ordered a hundred packs of those savings challenges and she said she was down to 40 today and i was like mm, no you're not girl you're down to like 38 at least because i just snapped up two one for myself and one for a lucky viewer so be waiting for that giveaway to be coming up and be announced here in the next couple of weeks we will be doing that in the first of november so with that being said let's go ahead and get into this now this is my 12 month binder that i do on mondays i consistently stuff this and consistency is the key to getting to your goal. Making sure you know what you need in every single envelope, how much you need to have for your goal, and then break it down over weeks, months, days, whatever you want to do to stuff your envelopes to get to that goal. So January is Philip and Jesse's birthday. You all know the things that we're doing for their birthday. I mention it every week. Their birthday cake we're saving for, the double session at the skating rink, the Uber trip to and from the skating rink, the dinner meal that the kids have chosen for dinner that night, all those things. So with that being said, this $5 every week goes towards that. Now, every month, I stick in a $20 bill for Philip and a $20 bill for Jessica so that by their birthday, they will each have $200 in cash. That's the way they like to go. There is no option for me to try to figure out what they want. I don't have to wrap gifts. And y'all, if you ever seen a blind person wrap gifts, it's pathetic. We can't do it. It just doesn't come out right. It looks like a two-year-old trying to wrap a gift. So I don't have all the fuss. I never do because I always give cash to everybody for birthdays, holidays, um, things of that nature. So we have already stuffed the 20 in for the month of October for Jesse and Philip. I will say after I get done stuffing my daughter's envelope in November, her birthday, my eldest daughter's birthday is on the 28th of November. She already knows there's a creamy coming. So with that being said, once that is fully stuffed, when we get into the month of December, I'm going to start stuffing a little bit more uh, for birthdays for Jessica and Philip because that is coming well up and around the corner. And my December envelope is already stuffed for Christmas. February is fully stuffed. Uh, the $5 that I would normally put into February, I will not start that until next February of 2023. This is already stuffed for February 2023, but when I start stuffing it in February of 2023, then that will be for February of 2024. So this has been stuffed. I have $100 in my Capital One 360 solely for the purpose of buying a really good meal for the kiddos for dinner that night for Valentine's Day and to get them each a candy box. So we probably will be having Chinese, I think is what I'm gonna settle on for the kiddos, they love Chinese. So we probably will settle on that. 
and um, I'll get them a candy box. So that is February. The $5 from there will be going into today for November that I normally stuff. Same thing with March. March is fully stuffed and funded for 20 of 23 for my mom's birthday. I will give her a gift card when the time gets closer. I'll put it in a birthday card, mail it down to her, and that is what she gets for her 70th birthday. I will restart this right after her birthday in May, or I'm sorry, March, and uh, we'll start stuffing for 2024. The five dollars from there will also be going to November today. April, same setup with April that we do with Philip and Jessica. It's just with Danya, and Danya is going to Golden Corral with me, Jessica, and Philip. The whole family is going to Golden Corral for her birthday. That is their ultimate favorite place to eat. We chose to do it in Danya's birthday because doing it in January and then again in April is a really hefty payment. It's expensive to eat at Golden Corral. My kids love it. So that $5 is for us to go to Golden Corral. It's towards us paying for the tip for the server. It's for the round trip to and from Golden Corral, which you all hear me always talk about. It's super duper expensive. However, I did see now they're letting a passenger ride in the front seat. So now an Uber X can take four people instead of having to take a Uber XL now, which may shrink the price a little bit. Not significantly, but it will shrink it a little bit. It's also for her cake. And then like her, like the other two kiddos, I do give her $20 per month. We've already stuffed that for the month of October and she will also be getting 200 for her birthday as well. May is Mother's Day. I've got this already stuffed for my mom. $100 is pushed aside in my Capital One 360. I do have a fully funded slip in here just to remind me, yes, it's been stuffed. But now we are working on me, which is gonna be $150. I'm gonna give each one of my kids 50 bucks to spend on me, and they can do that for Mother's Day. So we will continuously put the $5 in here until we reach $150. June is my grandson's birthday. It is also Father's Day for my husband and my father. We are working still towards my grandson. I was putting $10 a week in here. I'm shifting it down to five because June's a quite a bit away still, y'all. So $5 is going in, and we are not that far away from $150 here shortly with my grandson for his birthday. Once that's done, then I will go ahead and resave for my husband, and I will resave for my father. I just decided to move all of that to my grandson right now and consolidate it to him first to make sure he's covered, and then I'll be working on my dad and my husband. July, that's my dad's birthday. We're putting in five for him. I wish I would have started this binder back in January of 2022 at the beginning of this year, but that's when I started my budgeting journey. I didn't know what I was doing. I had been watching all these other budgeters, all these different systems they were doing, trying to find out what was working for me, what would work for me, and trying to stick to one system. Obviously, you see, I'm back in my A6 binders. This is where I'm gonna have to stick. It's what works for me, it's what makes me happy. And if it makes me happy and works for me, then that's what I'm gonna stick to. So July is for my dad, and y'all, we'll have this funded well before uh, July of 2023, and it will be fully funded. August and September are our next two months. They each get a five, and that is for me to do giveaways here on my channel. So there's five for August. Here's five for September. October is the birthday month of Tucker and Jaya. So Tucker's already had his birthday. Um, when I did my pre-recording, I said that his birthday was on a Monday, which was the third, which isn't true. Tucker's birthday is October 1st, but when I did that recording a few days early, because I was starting not to feel well a little bit, um, I was thinking, it because it was the day that I was recording, it was actually his birthday. So no, his birthday is October 1st, y'all. And with that being said, this is already fully funded. I just need to pull out the money. I still need to get his toy, Jaya's toy, their treats, sweet treats, uh, inventory. I need to get a couple of ingredients for them. And that is what they're gonna get. Now, I'm gonna hold off a little bit later in October, maybe even the beginning of November, because I wanna wait until like maybe the day after Halloween to get a bag of candy for each one of my kiddos. I kinda want it to go a little bit on sale. I know it won't be like the 50% or the 90% off, but even if I can get it 20 or 30% off, then that's what I'm gonna do. So on November 1st, I will be walking in and grabbing three bags of candy at Walmart. For the kids, I will grab the dog's toys and a couple of uh, supplies that I need for their homemade dog treats. And y'all, let me explain something. The dog food that I had just recently got for Tucker 
Jai is not supposed to be eating any store-bought dog food because of all her allergies and her pancreatitis and all the things medically she has. However, she started sneaking into his bowl. Good news is she's not been sick. Good news is digestive tract has not been upset. And I'm like, huh. Now she does eat um, homemade dog food based food here at the house, but she is loving his food and I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna let her eat a little bit here, a little bit there and see how it works for her. She's still gonna stay on homemade dog food as well. But if she could eat a few morsels here and there of his food, then I'm gonna let her do it and see what happens. She really likes it. The new food is working amazing for Tucker. Um, so that will be going into probably my Chewy order. And uh, I will be picking back up on Chewy instead of buying it at Walmart or any other store. I really like and prefer for those to be shipped to the house whenever I decide instead of having to run to Walmart and pick it up or you know go and buy it there. So October's fully funded. November, November is getting its own 20, or own $5, <laughs> its own $5 here. That is my daughter, Tori. She's my eldest. She's going to be 24 on the 28th of November. I'm saving up for a creamy, y'all. But I'm also going to stick a 20 in there that I'm not using today for my other envelopes. So she actually is getting 25. We are working towards that Ninja Creamy for her. Y'all, it's something that's been on my list for a while. I am wanting to get one really bad. If I get her one in November, I may just go ahead and flip one onto one of my cards in December and then turn around and pay it off. <laughs> but I want one so bad for my kiddos as well. So that is for November. December, we are not funding December. This is fully funded at $320 for Christmas. The reason that's so low is because my penny challenge is almost complete. My penny challenge will push me just over the $700 mark and I stuff by the month. I do not stuff by the week. I do not stuff by the day. I do not do coins because my Chowini, Jaya, half Chihuahua, half Dachshund, thinks that she's a doggy piggy bank and she will eat coins. She has no problems doing so. So I don't want to be dropping coins or anything of that sort. I don't even have coins in the house, to be honest. So with that being said, we are stuffing our penny challenge in here from now on. I will be moving that other penny challenge envelope over to here. Um, we are just we are just under ninety dollars to stuff for the entire month of October. So we roll it up. So it's fifty, seventy, and ninety. That is what we're going to be stuffing. We always roll it up for the penny challenge. I always make sure that I stuff a little bit more than what the actual amount is for the month. So that will complete the month of October. I just have November and December to stuff, and I will let you know I've already opened up the new account name for Christmas 2023. I will start stuffing that in December of this year. I will do the penny challenge again. I will also do the $5 per week on top of that as well. And let's see how much we make next year for Christmas. Now, everybody in my family who gets things for me from Christmas gets cash. That's the way it is. That's the way they want it. My kids here at home don't want presents underneath the tree. Nothing of that sort. My envelopes right now, I'll be real honest, I don't have enough of these vellum envelopes. I need to order some more from Budget with Emmy, but that's going to have to wait just a few months. Um, I do have the order in my safe for later. And with that being said, um, as soon as I can get those ordered, I'm going to order another 50 envelope set from Budget with Emmy so I can continue using the Vela envelope, which is what I like. The zippered envelopes, I don't like so much. I do have them, and I will be using them until I can get these vellum envelopes back in stock for me uh, through Budget with Emmy. But the, the zippered envelopes sometimes have a, a tendency that the top will come off or break in. I have issues with those envelopes. Now, I will use them until I can get what I need, but that is where we're going there. So, this is my eight savings challenge from Jordan Budgets. Needless to say, the reason I was mentioning that is because my other envelope binder is over here that I'm working on. My envelopes are a mess because I'm separating them again, and I am not going to double side these anymore. I'm running into some issues by doing that. Um, what I'm thinking, I'm stuffing on one side of the um, divider I actually have stuffed on the other side by accident that's probably something due to my visual loss <laughs> I can't see it so it's kind of messing me up a little bit so I'm going to go 
and just use these as single envelopes. And that's why I've got to get more envelopes. So I will be moving all the rest of my money over to my December binder for this week. Uh, in this binder here for the penny challenge because we just completed October we got two more months to complete and we will be done with the penny challenge for the year all right first one is pick day that gets five dollars every single one of these envelopes is getting five dollars this is for Jessica and Philip you'll see a label I've had this label for a while I gotta keep pressing it down because I've moved it a couple of times this is one of the Jordan budgets label yes it is I love her labels her labels peel off so super nice and easy I'm so super jealous I'm gonna ask her where she gets these labels at I know they're HP labels, I just don't know which version ones that she uses, but they're beautiful. So this is school picks for Philip and Jessica for spring and summer. Um, they, don't go to, they don't go to traditional school like Danya, they're not public school students, they're homeschool students. So I'm getting their pictures done at a studio. Next one is for memberships, that is getting five. Next one after this is for glasses, that's Jessica. She's kind of wanting going leaning towards contacts. I don't know if she's able to do so. She has retinopathy of prematurity. It's called ROP for short. I'm not quite sure. I'll be speaking with them. Um, I guess it does have to do with the shape of your eyeball and other things. I've never had contacts. So I don't know. We're sticking five in. My ex-husband is responsible for half of this. I'm responsible for the other half. So if she's able to get contacts, I know they're going to be a little bit more expensive than glasses, probably quite a bit more expensive. So we'll just keep rolling with that for right now. Tuition is for the books and things that the kids do here at the house. Their books don't cost that much, as you see, but they're gonna be working on some projects, some home economics projects, some hands-on projects, some kits, and we are gonna be taking the kids to Joanne starting in January of this next year. Philip will be taking cooking classes with Jessica there as well, and maybe some craft classes. Jessica also wants to learn how to sew, so she'll be taking classes for that as well. And I did see they have a sewing kit. Um, I saw it online the other day for kids. They have a kids sewing machine. So I might be getting Jessica that as well. I'll be speaking with Joann's before I do anything because I don't know anything about sewing. Repairs is anything that we need for the house. We're sticking a five in. This is anything that I'm responsible for that my landowner is not. So there is repairs. And we are working towards getting brand new doors for three bedrooms, a bathroom, and the hallway closet. So after that, we have medical. Medical, I'm calling fully funded. That is anything for over-the-counter medication that we need here at the house. If we get the sniffles or anything of that sort, I do already have my entire box set of eight Kleenexes already in stock. Um, I did get that. That was my last shipment from Subscribe and Save with Amazon. Amazon will no longer be on our list. When that runs out for the membership, we will be done with Amazon. I will be moving my photos and videos and all that over to I'm hoping my iCloud storage and seeing how I can work on doing that because I have over I have nearly 5,000 photos on Amazon and I really need to figure out how to get those moved quickly and in mass production so if anybody knows how to do that to move them from Amazon to iPhone please let me know so that is fully funded for medical again that's just sniffly coughs things of that sort nothing like drastic or out of control the next one is another five. It's going into roll the dice. I'm saving up $336 for this challenge. I am not using Jordan Budget's tracker here. I have another tracker that I'm working with, but I may come back and actually use this right now. I'm just using it as a placeholder to tell me what this envelope is for. And I know I have labels on here as well, but just in case. These ones don't have that one. Does it have a label? No, that doesn't have a label. And the reason, I guess it doesn't, because I do frequently will change these out from time to time. Last one is snack duty. We're calling it sweet treats. Our last five is going in. I believe this makes $100 for us. And this is for our eggnog habit, y'all. It's also for s'mores and any kind of sweet treats that we want to have for the holidays for November and December, y'all. I'm constantly looking at Walmart to see when eggnog starts because the minute I know it's in stock is the minute I'm going to the store. So, y'all, that completes our Monday cash stuffing. Super simple, super easy, very much stress-free. What I will tell you is the fact that, y'all, you want to get into this, this giveaway that I'm doing on Saturday because it was super amazing for Jordan to come in and say, hey, look, 700 around the corner. This time, your giveaway is on me. Please make sure that you go and subscribe to Jordan Budgets. She has got amazing content that she puts out. I can't speak enough good things about her. 
uh, by no means at all. I mean, everything I say is just phenomenal about her because she's just that good. So that's all we have for you today, y'all. It's super simple, super easy. I got to go feed my kiddos, you know, my hungry gremlins. No, I'm not feeding them after midnight, but we do have to finish watching Gremlins. That's what me and my son are currently watching right now. He's starting to like the old shows from my time, which makes me super happy. <laughs> if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, concerns, anything of that sort, uh, put it down in the comment section down below. We will catch you in our next stuffing. We are going to bring our prepper binder on board tomorrow, y'all. Yeah, like tomorrow. We're also going to be stuffing $29 that we have left over for this entire month into our second month ahead for our 12 month ahead binder so that will be coming tomorrow as well all right y'all we are out of here without limits is gone <laughs>